talk to you about the Grubbs ring closing metathesis today. Um, just to walk through the mechanism, we're going to start with this generic example where our starting material is this octadiene, and we have a metal tie bonded to an R group, and we end up losing two carbons to form this cyclohexene, and then we also have a byproduct from our R group without the metal. So we end up losing two carbons total, which is important to know. But so looking at the mechanism, the first step is a two plus two cycloaddition, where the pi bonds here, the pi bond here, form a four-membered ring with the metal inside the ring. Then it'll undergo like a retro cycloaddition, where these electrons swing there, and they swing there, and we end up with our metal now bonded to our octadiene, and then we have our byproduct, which we saw from the reaction over there. Then the next step is for another two plus two cycloaddition, where these bonds swing there, those bonds, and we end up forming another four-membered ring with the metal, again, inside the ring. And then it undergoes another retro cycloaddition where this bond will swing down, and that bond swings there, and we end up with our cyclohexene, plus our metal now bonded to another one of our CH2 groups that leaves. So we can now look at this example, this reaction in a real life example to kind of apply what we just learned. And so here we have our starting material and we have our metal, which is double bonded to a phenyl. And we have in our chain, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total atoms. And what we learned over there was that it's gonna, we're gonna lose two atoms in our ring closing metathesis. So what we know is that we have seven, so we're gonna actually end up with a five-membered ring, and we have our two pi bonds, which are gonna interact with our pi-bonded metal over here to get rid of those two CH2 groups. And we can see here that the product is in fact a five-membered ring, a heterocyclic system with the nitrogen involved, and our methyl group is unchanged here, and the tosyl group is still on. So you can see that you start with this material, it can inter undergo an intramolecular reaction involving this pi-bonded um, metal. So that's the Grubbs ring closing metathesis. Thank you.